Hi ladies! So today I am 35 weeks and one day pregnant. Um, so I'm going to let you know kind of what happened from the last vlog until now. Um, so baby is growing, my belly is getting big. It's hard for me to like bend over, pick anything up off the floor just because my belly just gets in the way now. So at my appointment last week, I can't remember if I said this in the last vlog because I kind of did that vlog late, but um, they thought the baby was breech and they did a quick ultrasound and found out he was head down still, but he is like all the way, I can feel him kicking my hip bones or punching I guess it would be, and I can feel him all the way up in my ribs, so he is like taking full advantage of all of the room in there. Um, what they felt that they thought was his head was actually his booty. Um, so I'm just happy he's head down. And um, they didn't do any kind of measurements at that ultrasound. I don't know how much he, they think he weighs or anything like that. It was just where's his head kind of ultrasound. So um, I'm glad he's head down. I'm glad we found that out. Um, his movements have changed. They're not so punchy anymore. They're more like uh, wiggle and roll kind of movements. And I caught a video of him moving around in my belly. I'm gonna put it in here. Um, I hope that's okay and not like TMI for anyone who's watching. But um, I was trying to go to sleep. It was like two in the morning and my belly was really itchy. So I had just put oil on my belly if my belly looks shiny. Um, but he was like going crazy and this is typical of like what happens every night. Um, so yeah, it's sleep has been like difficult, uh, this past week. My hips are starting, my hips are starting to ache, like they get really sore and I have to roll over. And like within 10 minutes, my other hip hurts and I have to roll back over. And then um, if I try to lay on my back, I have to pee. It's just the way that the baby like lays on my bladder. Even if I don't have to pee much, like it's just really annoying to the point I can't go back to sleep until I go to the bathroom. So that's the only relief my hips get is if I'm on my back. But then I have to wake up and get out of bed if I want to lay that way. So, um... Yeah, I don't, I've been waking up at like at least every two hours to go to the bathroom and then tossing and turning a lot just because uh, my hips hurt so much, which I was saying I was surprised that they weren't hurting because that's like really normal for me to get that hip pain in pregnancy because it's like my pelvis spreads out a little bit and I was like, my pelvis hasn't really spread out yet this pregnancy. like. Like, from behind, I look the same, and my belly is all, like, straight out instead of, like, widened at all. And so I think I'm paying for that now. I think I am widening now. Um, I'm getting a lot of pressure on my tailbone. And, like, if I'm, like, laying down and then I go to, like, sit up, I have felt it pop before. And the baby's head is, like, there, and when I move positions it makes the baby like bump into it and it doesn't hurt it's just like if you would crack your knuckle or something that's the kind of pop that I feel um, but I do feel like low down pressure in that area um, and when he's moving and when I get contractions I feel pressure down like I feel like the baby is like trying to go down um, so it's not like painful or anything. It's just a different sensation than what I have been feeling in the past weeks. Um, and then this, I said I hadn't gained any weight for two weeks. Um, and then by the time I went to bed last night, I usually weigh myself in the morning. Um, so if you go by the weight in the morning, like over the weekend, I gained six pounds. If you go by the way at the end of the day, I gained like eight pounds and it's like all fluid um, in my legs 
and if I do anything that like during the day like yesterday we had a play date um, and we were like outside and it was 90 degrees and it was really hot and um, my legs just got super swollen and I rub like um, coconut oil with a couple of drops of lemon oil in there and that really helps the swelling go down but just in general like through my whole body now I'm retaining fluid um, this is also very normal for me it happened with both of them Connor was born in September and he was the worst I gained 50 pounds with him and a couple weeks after I had him I was already down 35 or 40 pounds just because all of the fluid I was retaining like went away um, so that was like a lot to gain at once so it slightly concerns me but um, I know it can be a symptom of like preeclampsia, but I don't have headaches and um, my urine has been fine every time I've gone and my blood pressure is actually usually low, like 100 over 60 or 90 over 60. So um, there haven't been concerns for that yet. Obviously, um, at my next prenatal, though continue to test and they might want to do an ultrasound or something, I don't know, to find out why there was such the jump in weight gain. But um, that's how the babies are too. My babies, like, they'll be like really active and then they won't be active for a few days and then really active again and they have like growth spurts. I'm not saying he gained eight pounds like in a weekend, obviously that didn't happen. But I think maybe he had a growth spurt along with me starting to retain fluid more than I have been. So um, I'm just trying to stay hydrated. And when I do lay down, like, and I'm able to rest for the day, I have to pee like every 30 minutes because the fluid like gets pushed back up to my kidneys. So um, yeah, it's just one of the end of pregnancy discomforts um, that is not foreign to me. That's what I'm used to. Um, and then last weekend, my sister and my sister-in-law and my mom threw a baby sprinkle for me and baby Adam. And um, it was really fun and I'll put some pictures in. And it wasn't to just like get a bunch of things for baby. That's not the point of a sprinkle. Like we did sell a lot of our things or give them away because we thought we were done having kids. Um, and so it was a way for, we only invited like my mom's sisters and my sister and sister-in-law and my grandma and, um, my mother-in-law and then a couple of my best friends um, so it wasn't like a huge shower it was just you know the closest people to me came and they they didn't have to bring anything but a lot of them brought like an outfit or wipes or diapers um, one of my friends made me this which is it's so pretty this is not doing it justice um, but I might take it as a focal point. I've never used a focal point before, but I suppose if, uh, if I want a focal point like this would be a good, um, one, I guess. Um, but I really love it. And then, yeah, I just got some fun things. It's a couple cloth diapers. I got a little Doctor Who onesie someone made us. So, um, and then I did get a bigger item. I got, um, a swing for the baby because we sold ours because we thought we were done with it so um, we got another baby swing and so that is nice and the shower was a lot of fun did pack the ba the baby's bag is packed and I already posted that video um, within the last week I posted it and then the kids bag is packed because um, I have a three and a five year old and so they have to stay somewhere when I'm in the hospital um, and so their bag is packed and so um, my labor bag is like mostly packed and 
in case I think of anything I want to throw in there. Um, and then our hospital bag is like, I'm pretty packed, but my husband hasn't thrown anything in there yet. So I don't want to like, he's a grown man. I don't want to like pack for him. So um, when he decides what he wants to take, he'll throw it in there and then we'll be pretty much packed and his packing will probably take place while I'm in labor. Hopefully not in case he's at work and like it's really rushed. Like I hope he goes ahead and like throws some things in there ahead of time, but we'll see. Um, but I think that's it. I will show you the belly. All right, here's the belly. And from the front, from the other side. All right, I will see you ladies next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.